All right, welcome back. Joining us virtually on this Monday, we have local CPA Robin LeBlanc. Robin, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So what is today's tax tip for our viewers at home? So today we're actually living in the past a little bit. I'm going to talk about the employee retention credit. And this is something that applies to 2020 and 2021 payroll tax return. And the reason that it's still relevant right now is because they changed the rules so many times because of COVID that a lot of people didn't get the benefit of the credit. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had uh, employees in your business in 2020 and 2021 and you were either closed down due to government mandate or had a significant reduction in revenue or even businesses that opened up during the middle of covid you may be eligible for this credit and it's a significant credit where in 2020 it was eligible up to five thousand dollars per employee mm -hmm. and in 2021 up to seven thousand dollars per employee per quarter Okay. Now, this is something a lot of people are going back and actually amending their payroll tax returns because a lot of people missed it because they changed the rules so many times. So before you're going um, and finalizing your 2021 income tax return for your business or your Schedule C, this is something you want to look relook at because you might not have qualified when the initial rules came out, but you may qualify for it now. And this is also where it comes into play that you need to have good records because when we're talking about a reduction in revenue, we're looking at how much you made per quarter for all those quarters. So just having a blanket 1099 that has your total income for the year is not going to cut it. Um, you're also going to need to amend payroll tax returns and if you're doing the 2020 credit you're gonna need to amend your 2020 business return but these are definitely worth looking into it now if you as the owner are the only person on payroll this actually won't work for you mm -hmm. the um, eligible wages are for employees only that are not related to you so i know restaurants were uh, affected uh, salons, tattoo shops, all of these places that were shut down by the government um, are going to be eligible for this credit. So if this is something you have not looked into, make sure you contact your tax preparer, your professional, your CPA, and see if you can qualify and get some of this benefit. Awesome. Well, Robin, thank you so much for explaining this for our viewers at home today. If you at home want to learn more, rewatch this interview, head to our website, klaf.com.